Hi, this is Kalani Moore. I'm an application scientist with Direct Electron, and today I'm going to use this nice simulation software from Mulic to show you how to adjust your Ronchigram for a really nice atomic resolution STEM imaging. We're going to adjust twofold astigmatism, which is labeled as A1 for the coarse or condenser for the fine, um, and coma, which is labeled as B2 on your actual microscope controls. So I can see in the middle this kind of diamond shape is obviously coma. So straight to coma. Um, well, I can move in and out of focus to uh, to see what it actually looks like. So moving in and out of focus, that's definitely coma. You can see it going from top left to bottom right of the screen. But it's easiest if you, uh, at least when it's bad, it's easiest if you correct it when it's in your at focus. Um, so go into where I can see that kind of diamond D shape, middle of the screen, and the principle we're going to follow is that you make it bigger, it's good, and if it rotates, you switch um, from your X stigmator to your Y stigmator, or vice versa. So I'm going to try on coma, and so I'm adjusting it, and so there's a little bit of rotation there, I don't know if you can see that. It's rotating, so I'll try to put it back to where it was initially, and then switch to my other one. So this is getting what I would call getting bigger, which is good. Let's see if I went the other way. It kind of gets smaller, it zooms away from me, so that's the wrong direction. So we're going to try to make it bigger, which is good. And then that kind of characteristic shape starts to disappear, which is actually great. That's exactly what we want. So I've gone a bit too far there, it seems like. And once you really get into this regime, it's very it's very difficult to correct coma when you can't see that egg shape anymore. So I'm going to adjust the defocus again and try get it get it more towards something um, recognizable. So now once it's close, I do find it easier to adjust the defocus so that half the image is out of focus, half of it is at focus. And then you're going to adjust the coma to try and make that flat. So we'll try adjusting it. So that's clearly worse. I've gone back to making, I'm back to making that diamond shape over here. So I'm going to go the opposite way. We're zooming in, and now you can see that's actually too far the other way. And so I'll go somewhere in the middle. Something, something like this. So I'll try to go closer to focus to check. Yeah, so now I now I can see I'm zooming straight in and out of the center. I don't I don't see so much of a flashing across the across the screen. What I do see is that stretching across the way top left to bottom right. And then as I go through focus, maybe top right to bottom left. And that stretching is the, the twofold astigmatism, basically your condenser. And so I'm gonna switch from my I'm gonna go to where I can see it. Pretty close to focus here, um, and I'm going to switch from focus and coma into twofold astigmatism. I'll drop the step size down a bit. So that's zooming out. So again, similar to the other astigmator, that's the wrong direction. So I'm going to try to zoom in. I'll just, for just to show you an example, I'll show how it would look um, if I use the wrong astigmator. So now you can see it's rotating. So that's wrong. So go back to where it's, I think that's where it was, and try to zoom in. So it's rotating a bit, so we'll try change, no, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Ooh, bit of rotation, so I'll go back, drop the step size again. So that's zooming out, so everything's getting smaller, I'm trying to zoom in all the time. Now this is roughly Roughly about right there, I'd say. Move in and out of focus. So we're pretty good now. I haven't actually measured the aberrations, but we're very, very close to um, where you would see atomic nice atomic resolution uh, from your probe-corrected STEM microscope.